as Abraham, that was his name change. You see, sometimes in the Bible, many times in the Bible, in fact, when someone has an encounter with God, their name is changed to signify or celebrate that experience. And so Abram, the prince, became Abraham, prince of many. Jacob wrestled with the angel and became Israel. Saul became Paul. Simon became Peter. Maybe you didn't change your name when you started following Jesus. I didn't. But I hope the change in your life is evident, apparent, easy to see. So God calls to Abram and says, be in relationship with me, connect to me, follow me in so many words, and I will bless you, and I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky. And I will bless those who bless you, and curse those who curse you. And through you, the whole world will be blessed. Pointing ahead to Jesus, by the way. And people who are in relationship with God seek to do God's will, God's way. They're both important. Sometimes we become so fixated on being right as Christians that in our application, we become wrong. And we end up being mean towards people and judgmental, maybe even hateful. It is every bit as important to do things in the way of Christ as it is to do what it is that he wants us to do. I think it's a natural question. In fact, on Saturday night, we have a smaller group, and somebody said, well, how do you know what God's will is? Uh, that's a good question. My hair's almost white. But that answer has eluded me all these years. I may have some wisdom, but, well, this is what I found. Most times, the only way you know what God's will is, is by looking behind you and saying, oh yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> when it's out here in front of you, it's much harder to figure out. I know that's not exciting to hear, I know we Christians like to hear, God told me this, and all that stuff, and there's a place for that. I'm not discounting that that happens. But I just found that the people who excitedly say, God told me this, change their mind pretty quickly about what it is that God said. If they want to live their lives that way, that's their prerogative. I don't see that as being healthy as a Christian. And it did not work for me, it does not work for me. I can share stories about that, but you know what I'm talking about. Instead, this is what I've learned. That when I can concern myself with doing the little things in life, being kind to people, being open about my faith, helping people, being generous with people, <clears throat> that the big picture of God's will <laughs> kind of just works out. 